Hi guys, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. I hope that you're all really, really well and been enjoying the world. It's been absolutely awesome. We now have our finalists, of course, Gerwin Price against Gary Anderson. It is going to be an absolute thriller. Uh, firstly, am I surprised that these two are in the final? Not really. Anderson sort of picks and chooses what he does. He doesn't always play well in all the tournaments, but for the big ones, he seems to be able to get himself uh, back to his... Well, he doesn't think he's back at his best, but he seems to be able to perform at the highest level and, you know, count when it really, really matters, especially with the rank and points and everything, and he's managed again to get to this final. Gezza Price, I tipped right from the beginning i thought that he would make it to the final for me right now i think he's the best player on planet darts i really do i think he's incredible i love watching him i know there's been lots of debates throughout these videos that i've done but a lot of people think he does his antics and all the different stuff but um you know i just think that it's who he is it's where he comes from it's how he plays the game and we need characters so i'm pleased he's in the final but the big question is guys is can Geza price become the world champ and world number one this evening or is Gary Anderson gonna be the three times uh, world champion and back in the top four or five in the world keep watching guys so the final starts tonight from 7 30 p.m and it is now the best of 13 sets Let's have a quick look at Gary Anderson's route to the final. Round two, we beat Madars Razma. Round three, Suljevic. Round four, Peterson. Quarter final, Dirk Van Dudenbald. And then in the semi finals, he swept aside Dave Chisnell 6 3 with a nine dart average of 100.30 and a check out percentage of 36.67. What a win that was from Anderson, especially after Chizzy uh, smashed her MVG at the ballpark 5 0. Chizzy wasn't playing the same, but Gary Anderson did what he needed to, and it didn't surprise me at all. I did tip Chizzy to win, but I think in my head, it was more of, oh, I want a Chizzy to win, if that makes sense. Uh, meanwhile, Gerwin Price has been a lucky boy in some of these ones. He's, uh, you know, gone very, very long, last leg decider and different things. Round two, he beat Lewis. Round three was Dolan. Round four was King. Quarter final against Gurney. Then yesterday in the semi final, he got a great win against an inform and rejuvenated Stephen Bunton 6 4. He had a nine dart average of 100.92 and a checkout percentage of 47.17. Now, Anderson and Price have played each other 11 times. It is currently 6 5 to Gary Anderson. The big question is, though, who wins this one? And some questions we've got to ask ourselves. Right now, Anderson is just cruising along. He doesn't seem to be bothered. He hasn't got anything to prove to anybody. He's not worried about the money anymore. This makes Anderson very, very dangerous. Meanwhile, Geza Price, you know, he has been lucky along the tournament. He said it himself. We've seen it. A few of them have gone. I think two of them have gone to the final leg. He's gone to final sets. He has been very lucky um, to still be in the tournament. But as I keep saying, you need that little bit of luck. He seems very edgy at times. And he's always, always given his opponent a chance, which he hasn't done in previous tournaments. He cannot afford to give Anderson too many chances because he will take them. And I think that Anderson will be at his best tonight. Tonight. Is DeFort of being the world number one and world champ playing on Gerwin Price's mind? Of course it is. He has said it is. Um, it's going to be tough knowing that you can do that and you're one game away. And also, you've got to bear in mind, guys, there's £300,000 up for grabs between winning it. It's half a million for the winner, 200000 uh, for getting to the final. You're talking mega, mega, mega money there as well that they're playing for. So pressure on both of them. But I think that Anderson can go into this match a lot more relaxed than what Gerwin Price can. So this is what I think, guys. We know that these guys don't like each other. It's common knowledge. Some of you will probably say it isn't, but I don't think these guys like each other. Pricey is going to annoy Anderson, even if he's trying not to. Anderson don't like the antics. He doesn't like the big roars and the celebrations. That's exactly what Pricey do in his game, and he ain't going to stop doing that tonight. He is going to get under Anderson's skin, uh, however we look at it, and straight away, for me, that is an advantage for Geza. You can see by the photo on the screen here, this is for some previous history that these guys have got so this is what I think I think the game is going to go very long I think that the game is going to start off really edgy between both players but I think that Anderson is going to settle quicker and go into a couple of sets lead I think that the pricey will then settle himself down and get right back into the match and it is going to go really long and deep now I think it's going to be an absolute cracker now my head tell me I'm going to be honest with you guys 
my head is telling me that Anderson is going to win this. He's just going to come from not nowhere as such, but it's you know rank number thirteen. He's going to uh, come into this and he's going to win it and go up to like the top world's top four again. Um, you know, secure himself a place in the Premier League if he's not already in it, which he will be anyway. But um, I do think that. But I would never back against Pricey, and I so want him to win. I really don't want Anderson to win this. I want uh, Geza Price to be the world number one. I want him to be uh, the world champ. So I am. Going to back, going price to win this one, seven sets to six this evening. I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. Let me know who you think is going to win this evening, guys. Let me know who you would like to win this evening, even if you don't think they're going to. Uh, just before I go, I also have a Twitter giveaway for some going price darts. Now, if Pricey becomes world number one and world champ tonight, I'm going to be giving them away to somebody that has retweeted and followed me on Twitter. I've added the link in the description below, so check it out. Give us a retweet, give us a follow, and if Pricey wins, which I hope he does, you could win some of his darts. Thank you so much for all your support over my vids during the Worlds. I appreciate it so much. I've had so much fun doing them. And I really do appreciate all your support. Because without all you guys, there's no point to the channel at all. Uh, if you can, please like the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. And don't forget to download our app. Enjoy the final tonight. Have a few beers. Have some nice stacks. Stacks. Have some nice snacks. And enjoy. This is what I call the sort of end of Christmas when the darts finish. It's sort of like the end of Christmas and New Year for me. And it's back to the grind stone and loads of work but stay safe guys and i'll catch you all very soon bye